Welcome to another lecture by Medico Medics. Medical Terminology, Chapter 5, Diagnostic, Procedural, and Pharmacological Terminology. In this lecture, we will briefly discuss diagnostic terminology, procedural terminology, and pharmacological terminology. We will do a practice and application and end with a summary. So, this lecture covers diagnostic terminology, which are terms related to identifying disease and conditions. Procedural terminology, so terms for medical interventions and surgeries. And then pharmacological terminology, so terms for medications and treatments. Now, diagnostics involve identifying diseases using tests, imaging, and observations. Common prefixes and suffixes used in diagnostics include graphy, process of recording, so a mammography, breast imaging, gram, meaning record or image, so electrocardiogram or EKG is heart activity record, scopy, meaning viewing with a scope, so endoscopy, viewing the inside of the body, metry, measurement, so spirometry, lung function measurement. Common diagnostic terms include biopsy, so the removal of tissue for examination. Bio means life, opsy, viewing. MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, which produces detailed images of soft tissues. And then we have ultrasound using sound waves to create images of internal organs. And finally, CT, so computed tomography. Here we combine x-rays for a detailed image. Now, procedural terms describe medical interventions or surgeries. Common suffixes include ectomy, so surgical removal. If we then say appendectomy, we're talking about the removal of the appendix. Oatomy means cutting into, so laparotomy means incision into the abdomen. Plasty, surgical repair, so rhinoplasty, nose repair. Centesis, meaning puncture to remove fluid. So for example, thoracentesis, chest fluid removal. Now, some common procedural terms include angioplasty, so surgical repair of a blood vessel, because angi, if you remember, was vessel, and the combining vowel here is O. Cholecystectomy, removal of the bladder. Cholecyst is gallbladder, ectomy is removal, so cholecystectomy. Then we have colonoscopy, so visual examination of the colon. Thoracotomy, incision into the chest. Now, pharmacological terms describe medications and treatments. So, common prefixes and suffixes could be anti, meaning against, so antibiotics. Ending with psyllin, types of antibiotics that end with psyllin are, for example, penicillin or amoxicillin, etc. Statins are cholesterol-lowering drugs. If a word ends with olol, it's typically used for beta blockers, so propanolol or metoprolol, etc. Some common pharmacological terms include antipyretic, meaning reducing fever. Pyretic is fever, anti was against, so against fever, reducing fever. Analgesics or analgesic, relieves pain. So an is without, algia, if you remember, is pain. So analgesics is medications used to relieve pain. Antihypertensives, lower blood pressures. Remember hypertension, hyper was high or above, tensive or tension. And if we add the anti, we would have antihypertension or antihypertensives. Another one is diuretic. Dire is urine. So if we use diuretics, we increase urine output. 
Now let's do some practices here. So decode the following terms. Gastroscopy. Gastro is stomach. Scopy is viewing. So viewing of the, of the stomach. Angiogram. Angio was vessel. Gram is record. So imaging blood vessels. Lobectomy. So lobe is lobe. Ectomy is removal. So the removal of a lobe. For example, a lung lobe. Anticoagulant. So coagulant means clotting. Anti is against. So anticoagulants prevent blood clots or are used to prevent blood clotting. So in summary then, diagnostic terms describe tests to identify conditions. Procedural terms explain surgeries and interventions. Pharmacological terms cover medications and their functions. And that's the end of chapter 5. Continue now to chapter number 6. Thank you for listening.